I'm a first grade level knowledge user of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, so when I find little tips and tricks, I like to make videos about them. One, because I like to use the tool and I get better at it the more I use it. And the other thing is sometimes I just feel like there's a lot of people out there like me who might stumble on my channel and want to put this tip to good use. Today's tip is about uh, what they call normalizing audio levels. My first grade brain just basically says make the volume all the same across all the tracks. There's a lot more to it than that, I'm sure, but for my level, it's just make the volume the same across the top. So let's switch over to DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are with a typical uh, set of clips. And in my situation here, I've got a clip at the front and a clip at the end. It's kind of lower volume and the clip in the middle is a higher volume so when you play it that you can clearly see that it doesn't sound great now you can take the time to go into the video since the camera is behind the teleprompter it's not really easy to judge you can take the time to use the color editor okay so the so the uh, the volume difference is enough to kind of make your whole video sound kind of wonky because uh, you know good audio is always a must when it comes to these things so how do you normalize this so they're all the same? There's a really easy way to do that. Um, the things that I look at when I'm trying to normalize audio is the track, which is this line, this set of clips here, and this um, mixer here, this audio mixer. And you can kind of see these numbers um, as the negatives get smaller, it goes up to the top. I always associate that with as getting louder. Uh, maybe that's not the perfect way to describe it but you know I have no audio audio experience so I just kind of think of it that way so you can kind of see in this lower volume clip it kind of hung, hangs around negative 20 negative 30 and then when you go over here now it starts getting louder okay so I always associate with the higher push up into this uh, level here the louder it's gonna get so those are the things I watch. Now there's a way to normalize this stuff. So let's look at that. The first thing you have to do is you have to select the whole timeline and then you right click, click, and you go to normalize audio levels. All right, and you're presented with a normalization mode, target level, target loudness, and set level. Now let's look at normalization mode first real quick. There's a whole bunch of profiles for lack of a better word that are possible to choose from here this is the sample I guess this is kind of like the default version and there's a bunch of these others which I don't really recognize any of those because I again I'm not really into audio or video or anything like that but um, I recognize Netflix YouTube Disney so I'm assuming that if I'm using DaVinci Resolve to create something on Netflix I might pick the Netflix profile but I'm doing mine on YouTube so I'm gonna pick the YouTube profile now you can see there's a target level and a target loudness and you can't even fill these values out it's like default i don't know how they came up with these values my guess is that maybe davinci resolve sat down with youtube and said what do you want these values to be and we'll lock them in now this negative one translates to this mixer over here so the higher it gets closer to negative one that's what youtube prefers now I always think of negative one or a high mix level up here to get really, really loud and obnoxious. Um, but I think this target loudness kind of uh, normalizes that that volume to something that's a little more tolerable. That's my guess. I don't know. I'm again just speculating here. Now there's a set level where there's relative and independent. Now, um, if you pick relative, what it's going to do is going to take the entire track find the highest peak of all the audio in your track, which is probably right about here, and modify the entire track to get this peak right here as close to negative one as possible. So if I click normalize here, you're gonna see this middle one jump up, these side ones move up a little bit. So let's do that, okay? So you can see this jumped up to about negative one, and these are got a little louder. So let's just kind of scroll the uh, line here. So the camera is behind the two. About here, which is about the highest peak. 
and you can see that it was on negative one or close to it. Now, I don't know why you would use uh, relative settings. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I don't know what it is. Since for me, I just want all the volume to be the same. I'm going to pick independent. So what happens here is that DaVinci Resolve will go to each audio clip, find the highest peak and push it as close to negative one as possible. So first I'm going to undo what I just did. So I'm going to go back to my original settings. Now I'm going to go back into here, click normalize or click independent, then click normalize. Okay, now you can see they all got pushed up much higher. So this one is probably close to negative one. Let's see. Is it close to negative one? Yeah, it's pretty close to negative one. That one's pretty close to negative one. That one's pretty close to negative one. So I, I say pretty close because I don't know the specifics around the stuff. I just know that it's supposed to be negative one. And if it's close, it's good enough for me. So now all the audio and all the volumes are about the same. So let's listen to it. Now you can take the time to go into the video. Since the camera is behind the teleprompter, it's not really easy to judge. You can take the time to use the color editor. Okay, so now you have a much more consistent audio experience. Uh, I think that's this is a nice, easy way to do that. Now, of course, in something this small, I could go back to the originals and just play around with the volumes to get them about the same, like this, and then about like this. And when you only have three clips, yeah, you can get away with that. But if you have 30 clips, then this is a little, it's a little easier to do it with the normalization. Another thing to keep in mind is that this uh, only works per track. So if you have multiple tracks, you're going to have to do it separately for each track. This is only good for a single track. Well, that's all I have on this. Um, if you're an expert and you watched this and I'm sounds like I'm talking out my ass, then please let me know because that's the only way I get better at this. Uh, otherwise, if you're like me and you're kind of a beginner, hopefully you found some use from this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.